Hi, my name is Richard Sapon and this is Motivated Minds. Today, people are being called by different names. People are being labeled with different characters. People are being called drunkards, prostitutes, womanizers, murderers. But there is one interesting thing. Have you been called a millionaire? Do you love being called a rich man? Do you love being called a famous person? Do you love being addressed as a famous person, an influential member of the society? Anthony Robbins stated in his book Awaken the Giant Within that people are being controlled by two main forces of nature. These forces, he calls them pain and pleasure. Whatever we are doing in this world, we are being controlled either by pain or pleasure. Our desire to avoid some pain causes us to do certain things. Or, most of the times, our desire to attain certain level of pleasure causes us to do what we do. So whatever you are doing, you are either trying to avoid some pain in your life or you are trying to attain some pleasure in your life. Jim Rohn stated that in pursuit of what you want, be mindful of what you become. And that is why a lot of people are being labeled with different kind of horrible names. Names that we do not wish to be called upon with. Names that we do not wish to be called with. Names that we do not wish to be addressed with. They are all coming because we are not very mindful of what we are becoming in pursuit of what we want in life. We all want some comfort in life. We all want pleasure in life. We all want to avoid pain. The pain of losing a member of a family. The pain of losing a loved one. The pain of losing money. The pain of going through hardship. We all want some pleasure. The pleasure of living with the ones that we love. The pleasure of having a lot of money. The pleasure of amassing wealth. The pleasure of being accepted in the community, in the society. Being seen as an influential person, an influential member of the society. But in doing this, how are we attaining what we want for our lives? Somebody said that the end justifies the means. Is this true? Do you agree? Do you really believe that the end justifies the means? Well, I am here to tell you that the end doesn't justify the means. You cannot kill your, your, your son, your friend, your brother to become a millionaire and tell people that because you became a millionaire, the killing of your brother, your son or your wife is justified. That is not true. The end doesn't justify the means. You can become a millionaire. Yes, God gave you this power, this ability, this talent, this gift within you that can make you a millionaire. You can become a millionaire in nature's lawful way. But you see, in pursuit of what we want, what are people labeling us as? We need money. And is this the reason why people are labeling us as prostitutes? We want to become rich in the society but is this the reason why people are labeling us as thieves is that the reason why we are being called thieves and arm robbers we all want to become famous in the community but is that the reason why people are labeling us with drug abuse is that the reason why people are labeling us drug peddlers the fact is what we want to become is important but what we go through in becoming what we become is as much important as what we become in most of the times what we go through in becoming what we want will actually end up maiming what we have become it will actually end up destroying the pleasure the happiness in what we become yes let me give you one instance from the bible if you are a kingdom person like me, then you will accept every story about Jesus Christ because that man is the most influential human being who has ever lived on earth. Jesus Christ. Yes, the day he was betrayed, do you remember this name, Judas Iscariot? Yes, Judas was there. And of course, that evening, Judas became a millionaire. Yes, he became a millionaire because at their time, 30 pieces of silver was in a small amount of money. He was paid 30 pieces of silver. But for what? For betraying Jesus Christ. For just going to kiss Jesus Christ so that those who wanted to arrest him can get him. Yes, we can all see that Judas got the silver. He got the gold. He got the money. He became the millionaire he wanted to become in life. Because he got 30 pieces of silver. 
and 30 pieces of silver at that time made you a millionaire. But the truth is, what did Judas become? Judas became a millionaire, but he became the most unhappy person on earth. Eventually, he committed suicide. Today, when the name of Judas comes in mind, he doesn't come in mind as a millionaire. He comes in mind as the traitor. Judas the traitor. Judas got the gold. Judas got the silver. But Judas became the traitor. And as far as history is concerned, he is remembered as the traitor who was so unhappy with himself that he committed suicide. Jim Rohn once stated that the greatest source of unhappiness is self-unhappiness. Or it comes from within ourselves. So, if you are trying to become something, be mindful of what you are becoming because tomorrow you will sit down and reflect on what you have become. And maybe, just maybe, you will become the most unhappy person on earth. With all what you have become, with all the money that you have gathered, with all the wealth that you have gathered, with all the fame that you have acquired, with everything that you have achieved, are you happy with yourself? How are people labeling you? How are people calling you? How are people addressing you? How are people seeing you in the community? Sometimes people may even be deceived. They may call you the, the famous one. They may call you the holy one. They will call you the greatest one. They will call you the millionaire. But deep down within you, ask yourself, what have you become in becoming the millionaire that you have become? Let us all be mindful of what we become in pursuit of what we want in life. This has been Motivated Minds. Thank you and God bless you. You can always subscribe to our channel Moti Minds on YouTube for more motivational and inspirational messages like this. You can also get us on Facebook. If you want us to appear in your church or any organization just for a pep talk or for any kind of ceremonial speech, you can always call us. God bless you and have a wonderful day.